What's up you guys, welcome to my newest video. So you're probably like wondering where the heck I am. I'm actually in my spare room. It might sound a bit weird because there's literally nothing in this room other than like that couch. Anyway, I thought I'd film this little bit of a different video. I used to make videos kind of like this, but just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better, I thought I'd make a 10 confessions video. So I've got my little notepad here and I've written down 10 confessions and I guess you're about to learn a little bit more about me. So anyway, the first one is I do not like chocolate. But yeah, I don't really like milk chocolate, like dairy milk chocolate. I like white chocolate and dark chocolate just not dairy milk chocolate. I mean, I'll eat it, but like, I wouldn't like pick it out at the store to eat. Number two, I was almost kicked out of primary school. Don't actually know if my parents know this one, so that's a bit awkward. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. You're probably thinking, how would they not know? Basically, my school was like a f fair way away from my town. And back when I went to school, there wasn't a lot of communication between parents and like school. So yeah. And that moves on to my next one. I was a pretty different person when I was younger, like under the age of like 15, especially when I was in primary school, I just wasn't the nicest of people. Like, I guess I was nice to my friends. Like I was really nice to my friends, just to, like teachers and people at school that I didn't necessarily like and stuff like that. I was just a, not a very good person. <laughs> I've changed, I've matured. I'm not a 10 year old lad anymore. Number three, I can be a very romantic person. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't know I could be so romantic until I started dating my girlfriend. She'll probably say I'm pretty romantic as well, which is kind of funny because I'm probably not the person you would think would be romantic, but apparently I am. I surprised myself a lot. <laughs> Number four, I have worked at a lot of jobs, like six, five or six, I'll list them now. My first job ever was at KFC actually, which is hilarious. I worked there for like two days and it was just horrible. I, on my first shift, I'd worked for like an hour and it was going so slow and I was 15 years old. No, I was 14 and nine months and I hated it. So I quit and I waited a year and got a job when I was 15 at a home timber and hardware store in 2013, which is actually where I met my girlfriend. We worked there for three years and in 2016 is when we both quit. And then I'm pretty sure I got a job at McDonald's and that didn't last very long either because it was around the time when schoolies was happening, year 12 was happening. And I didn't really give a crap about a lot of things. I was just dumb. And yeah, I didn't turn up to a lot of shifts. I almost got fired actually. That that can be another confession. <laughs> so I decided to quit that job. Then I ended up getting a job at Nando's, which was a pretty good job for a while there. It turned to crap uh, later on in it because of my manager. I ended up quitting there after 10 months maybe. And now I work at a new job, which is called the Coffee Club. I worked there as a dishwasher and now I'm a cook and I've been there for eight or nine months now and I don't see myself quitting that job anytime soon. I think we're up to number six, I'm not sure. This one I've kind of recently learned about myself, I guess you could say. I like to be the leader or whatever in a situation. For instance, with me and my friends, I really like to like have everything organized and like ask everyone what's going on, make sure this is happening. I don't know, I've kind of recently figured that out about myself. I like to know, I like to be organized, I guess you could say but I'm also a very spontaneous person and like to be unorganized. Just a very odd ball mix of person, really. Number seven, I want to have four kids, which my girlfriend won't agree with me on that. She wants three, but I want four. I don't know, I've just always wanted a lot of kids. Like even in my family, like I've always wanted to have a lot of siblings. I already have two sisters and a brother, but I always wanted my parents to have another kid, but they never did. But yes, I want to have four kids. Like I'm not like, oh my God, we are having four kids, but it would be nice to have four. I say that now, I'll probably have one and be like, I don't want any more. <laughs> Number eight, I think. I guess you could say I like to party. I really like to, you know, have a few drinks and have fun. Pretty much everyone in my life will agree with me on that. <laughs> Number nine, I've only been to one concert in my life and that was the Justin Bieber concert. Well, technically I've been to two if you count the Chase Atlantic concert, but that wasn't really like a big concert. There was a lot of preteens and stuff like that. My first proper concert was the Justin Bieber concert, which was like two weeks ago. And my last but not least confession is, this wasn't like a diagnosed thing, but I pretty much had like social anxiety when I was younger. If one of my friends asked me to go sleep around their house, it was like the biggest deal. I would cry at night, I would freak out about it and I'd cancel last minute. I don't know, I still to this day don't really know why. Like there was, de I'm guessing there was definitely something that like triggered it, I suppose, but I don't know what. And yeah, just going to social events, birthday parties and stuff like that in primary school, I just freak out, I'd cry, I'd be go to my parents and be like, oh my God. And I think even to that day, I still kind of have a little bit of that. I'm a very social person. I love talking to people and having fun and stuff, but I still think that I have a little bit of that these days. But anyway guys, those are the 10 confessions I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit different to what I usually post. But I kind of really enjoy like just sitting down and talking to the camera. I cannot wait until I get my 
DSLR where I can actually make proper sit down videos that are good quality. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you'd like to see more of me, definitely make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.